running out of light The time is changing day to night Lines are fading out And we're dancing in the park Nothing's wrong with when I start Cause you look better in the dark Oh, counting days I made it through Without someone like you mm, We're running out of light Time is changing day to night And you keep asking why I'm out of control to move on Cause I will find the way on my own mm -hmm. Now life is happening and I don't wanna miss a thing Letting go is not a sin Hello everyone, thanks so much for sticking around to the end of the video. Today I'm gonna share some of my thoughts on these filters. So as you can see here on the left hand side, this one was the, from the half stop uh, black soft uh, filter. And then these two are from the one stop. You can see that um, the, the image is even dreamier. So if you want to create cinema, uh, cinema, cinema cinema style uh, portrait you can use this uh, diffuser filter like it create a diffusion of the um, atmosphere for for your pictures so a lot of uh, uh, a lot of uh, viewers already asked in my instagram so i will provide the link uh, in the description below and i have a 10 percent uh, code uh, for the for the uh, purchase also if you want to purchase uh, I, um, I i will provide this code uh, you can put it in uh, it's 10 percent off 
so anyway so um the first thing i want to say is that it is very cool that create the live frame style um you can see that uh there are a couple things uh, i want to talk about one is the backlight so um these two are uh, the, the light is from the back and then this one is the soft light for the full body so you can see that it's not very obvious here but you can see it's a little bit of the dreaminess in the background uh, a little bit of the glow because it's the, it is the half stop for the one stop one you can see it's very dreamy uh, this is these are all straight out of the cameras so it's very dreamy already so it feels like in the film uh, style already straight out of the film um, so it is good to have a warmer color I, re I would recommend it if you shoot uh, this filter um, you should have a warmer colored base as a tone because if you look uh, better uh, at least for my uh, style of the sunset uh, portrait I, I would like to set it a uh, warmer color so you can see that the grow on the white color here and then the grow on the bokeh here so it create the whole atmosphere of the field for the whole photo so it is uh, very good to create that and um, let me pull out a couple more uh, example for the backlight so I will pull out uh, a very strong backlight for example it is like daylight uh, in this one's very strong backlight if you don't have the filter the background just blown out but if especially in here uh, you can see the grow and the feeling of the front uh, foreshadow also I mean the foreground that uh, blow out a little bit but it still create a grow on top of it so it feels like adi an additional layer on top of it so that's a, one of the good thing if you want to use this filter in the midday light like strong sunlight it can create this kind of uh, feeling in it so that's another example that I pull from this uh, similar location you can see that the flower uh, is still you can still pretty clear on the flower but uh, it gives you a slight grow on top of it by the way this one uh, was the half stop one so even the half stop it created a nice uh, grow uh, in it already so uh, it depends on how you want to shoot uh, the portrait uh, you can uh, choose different location for that and at least uh, match uh, your feet to make it consistent so in terms of the strong front light let me pull up another example of the front light so I'm gonna pull up another example so this is backlight and then I'm gonna pull up the front light so this is half stop front light is still um, not really obvious on here and you can see the uh, the the clothing is still pretty sharp here so uh, what I mean is uh, if you don't uh, want to uh, blur out uh, the effect of the diffusion like this one you can just choose the half uh, stop one just to try it out but um, it still created a nice uh, atmosphere a very subtle atmosphere of a movie style so i i think it's good uh, especially right now yeah this one if you are planning to shoot in a strong sunlight so this diffuse diffusion of the sunlight will be good and the other example i want to talk about is a very strong sunlight looking into the sun you can see that um on the highlight of the hand it created a grow style like uh, it has a atmosphere of the diffusion on the strong highlights so those are the good things uh, that you can try out and this is the first shoot I might plan to shoot a couple more uh, different uh, one different location just to try it out um, the other one I was uh, wanted to talk about is uh, just uh, the apartment in the back from this location 
um, you can see that uh, it blurred out but it added an extra layer of dreaminess into the back as well so this is the half stop one and you can see that the bokeh behind added a layer of dreaminess uh, in the back uh, so it created a really uh, nice uh, retro vibes in it and uh, let me give another example of the of the front light so let me pull up another example of the front strong light so you can see that it's like afternoon light and it is very strong light on straight on the face so you can uh, get the atmosphere from uh, like this film style so these are just a couple examples I want to just go through quickly and then um, you can try it out I will provide the links below uh, I will provide some Amazon link if you want to buy from Amazon also so yeah um, I will shoot a couple more photos uh, shoots on this one just to give a feel on it but right now uh, it's good that it has a retro style um, um, for portraits so you can put it on different brand of camera try it yourself as well make sure that the uh, the filter size is uh, correct size to your lens so that's one thing as well so thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more video coming up bye